And, it, and in its form and expression, it does not allow any alternative. That the tendency with the uh, arrogance, the conceit, the bullying, the willpower to have control over a circumstances is therefore correspondingly intolerant of any other view. And in the old Buddhist texts, <coughs> there's um, um, often the conflict or the wars and one can use this in archetypal terms between uh, Vepachiti and Sukha and in the mythology of uh, the Buddha Dharma Vepachiti he is the demon who is the Lord of the Azuras and his big issue is having control and he is regar re regarded in contemporary language as the supreme control freak if you, if <laughs> contemporary language you that yeah. and Vipachiti, the, uh, uh, the leader of the Azuras <coughs> takes this view and therefore expects and demands that all others who are around him and close to him submit to his control that he doesn't allow anything else and Vepachiti of course keeps reappearing as we know throughout history in politics and in economics and in social forces and, and in families an individual's lives, so it's not like Vepachiti is just two and a half thousand years ago, but it's constantly uh, re reappearing and we have a whole uh, variety, uh, variety of them. And, and then there is Sukha, uh, sorry, Saki, and Saki is the complete opposite. And Saki believes in kindness and believes in generosity and believes in being friendly and easy going and he's the leader of the happy gods the devas and so these two sometimes you get this in the household you'll pick it up in a minute or two and sometimes you get the petiti in the household and sukha so one is one saki one wants it nice and relaxed chilled out cool, happy, etc. And the other is trying to have control. And these two forces in human life as, the, as part of the mythology are regularly in conflict with each other. And with these two, sometimes the controller wins. And sometimes the soft, kindly uh, voice of Saki within us wins. And sometimes that, as I say, goes on outwardly in, and it also goes on uh, inwardly. There are some features of the controller and the features of the controller means that uh, it doesn't have the voice, um, its own self-existence. That meaning, in other words, it doesn't arise out of nothing, but it arises out of our history. It arises from our tendencies and backgrounds and it's vital for us to be able to see what form or what expression and where it's coming from. And as always the inquiry is what is the conditioning that makes for a problem? What is the conditions inside of us that makes for the controller who is intolerant? And that uh, movement uh, of that. And one of the key factors, and <coughs> be a rare day I don't have some discussion with someone on this kind of theme, one of the clear factors in all of this is fear. Where there's control, there will be fear. And where there is fear, the shadow, which is often not very far away, will be anger. <coughs> so when you and I caught up in the self, in the form of the controller, one of the ways that it will manifest itself will be in the form of aggression. Aggression is the desire to control. 
And the more violent the aggression, the stronger the controller. And this reactivity, this conditioning, which uh, emerges out of us, places enormous amount of pressure on the other or others there, whether it's in the workplace or in the home place or, or in, in a friend, but it also and equally burns up in, inside of ourselves happiness, contentment, peace of mind, clarity, wisdom, love, everything that's worth experiencing.